probably gonna be like. So after that that record breaking uh, long jump, kind of seemed like when you were at the board, you're a little surprised by it. Did you think you had it by that jump, or or uh, were you surprised when that number popped up? Oh, I was so surprised because my first jump was definite. I felt like it was bigger, um, but it was a fall, so I, I didn't really know for sure. And then the second one, I I actually took off correctly, so I didn't. It was a familiar feeling, and so I didn't know if it was good or bad, and so I just kind of. I was like, mm, I don't know. So I was looking at my coach because I took off and I actually rose. I actually looked like a long jumper, but I didn't know how to time it because it was just a new feeling. And so I just ended up plopping in the sand. I like, didn't know when to land. I was just kind of in the air, just like, okay, now. <laughs> and, so, and so when I landed, I, and I, I like, didn't know how to land and I just kind of went backwards. And I knew that they measured from my, my, where my head landed. And I was like, oh man, because I know where my feet landed. I was like, that would have been a good, better one. Um, but then when it popped up, I was like, there's no way. There's no way because it didn't even look like that in the sun. But then when I looked again, I was like, actually? <laughs> and I just, I started crying because I, I, I had a goal uh, that I wanted to do and it was not 696, I can tell you that. Uh, and so to get the Olympic standard in that and to do it in a hip, because the hip is my favorite, and that it just put a cherry on top. And I wanted to cry, but I was like, no, you have to finish the hip first. And <laughs> oh, that was just, I don't necessarily surprise myself often because I know that I haven't even tapped into to, to my true potential yet. But today I definitely surprised myself, like big time. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> fat on the back for that <laughs> you say you know you actually felt like a long jumper i mean you you have your olympic qualifying long jumper now what <laughs> what how, how, how do you how do you put those two together in your head um it really hasn't set in yet because um my adrenaline and i know i'm not done competing but uh tonight it's gonna settle in and i'm just gonna be bouncing off the walls i'm just gonna call everyone i know hey yeah <laughs> yeah i did that i'm going to the olympics you know <laughs> so uh it's ex it's exciting it's exciting I, I can't wait to represent my country um and i'm a little a little disappointed that like i came too close to the hep standard uh uh but i'll still get it Nas i still have nationals you know i don't want to give everything you know it's, it's too soon so but uh i'm excited to say that i'm gonna be an olympian yeah, I was about to say on that on that heptathlon standard, uh, I mean it's just that's it, a second. It seemed like you just needed a, a second more. Uh, I I'm there's no one to blame, uh, but I definitely had a plan going in, and I, that was the slowest time I've run in really all year. And um, I was just listening to hear where my hundred marks were, but I, I I couldn't hear anyone, and so I was just kind of running blind. I was just like, okay, just stay in the pack, and I didn't know. And once I came off the 150 and I saw the clock I was like I'm behind I didn't I didn't know how far behind that I, uh, I was and so I just I I was very disappointed uh, with the 800 because it's just been my Achilles heel for years and I'm ready to run big and um, that race did not show that and but the next time there's always gonna be a next time so you know it's bittersweet feelings overall I had a Great heaven. I'm happy I scored that with such a terrible uh, shot put. Ter not my best hurdles and not my best 800. So I know I have a lot more on the table. So it's it's bittersweet. Yeah, and just to complete it with, it seems like you grew into javelin and, and kind of uh, <laughs> uh, found your stride after, as, as you went on in your throws. Yeah, uh, javelin has also been my Achilles heel. Uh, but I've been working so hard in practice, so hard. Um, and my first two throws were uh, a little nerve. I was a little nervous, but uh, in shot put yesterday, I uh, let the nerves over like control me, and I didn't relax and settle and be in the moment. And today, um, before my last throw, I was like, Tyra, you're nervous. You know you're nervous, but you know what to do. So calm down and just get it done. And I got it done. And then I, I did enough. And it wasn't what I wanted because I know that I can. I have a big one in me, but it was enough to where I am so and I know the SEC network was talking a lot about your family being here <laughs> what did that uh, what did that mean to you and and what did it kind of do to help put up the numbers that you did today um, it meant the world to me like I, I said in my last interview I am the sixth of seven kids and my parents they have never missed any one of our uh, sports events or recitals and so um, uh, uh, when COVID happened and they weren't able to come uh, to the big meets, which is normally the only ones they come to, but um, 
it was it was definitely sad because uh, I, I know how badly they wanted it and I to come down and I know how much I love seeing them in the stands because they're my wings. I mean, they're the wind under my wings. <laughs> um, but my siblings, they surprised me. I knew my parents were coming, but because they're in LA and then my younger sister's in uh, Southern Illinois. And so seeing them and then these shirts, <laughs> it was overwhelming, but they gave me energy. They give me energy. Um, I, I love my family like a little too much. Like they, they're the best support system that anyone could ever ask for. And seeing them in these stands and like hearing my mom, I'm pretty sure you heard her. <laughs> but I, every time I hear, her, I'm just like, let's go. Like they all did this for you. So let's go. Let's put on a show. And I'm happy that I, I, it wasn't everything that I wanted, but it's a, I can't ask for a better SEC so far. So. And I'm, when you looked at the board, you seemed like you looked at the board, you looked at your coach, and then you looked up in the stands. Was that the kind of the order of, yeah. of how that went right after the big jump? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, like, I mean, obviously I'm going to go to my coach first because I want to see what I did right, what I did wrong, because I was just like, did I just do that? And he was like, yeah, you just did that. And then I looked at my family. I was like, did y'all just see that? And they're like, yeah, we saw that. And I'm like, hey. And so uh, my first reaction was I would definitely want to just, like, look up at them. But, uh, you know, I'm – I'm an adult, so I have to do, <laughs> and I have to go by the rules. So, uh, but yeah, that was that's the order. And then last one for me, I know uh, how, how important was it to get some points in the long jump later. I know you kind of bailed out of 100 to be able to in that last jump was was kind of all the the difference in getting an extra point for the team. Yeah, um, honestly, I'm used to doing events. I'm used to having a competition like this, but um, it's been a while since I've done another event right after I have uh, my freshman year I did this but the long jump was at night and my, I had a couple hours to regroup so this was definitely one of the toughest competitions I've, I've done in a while I got pushed up a lot and um, but I had to dig deep and I'm <laughs> to be honest I'm a little I'm also excited that I pulled out a, a 656 I mean I'll, t I'll take that because the way I felt like my, my legs are like noodles right now. And so once I took off, I just kind of, I was like, just let them win. Just, I was just like plopped in the sand. I was like, did I do it? <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how today went. And I was able to put some points on the, on the uh, scoreboard for the team because every point counts. I know you've talked about you maybe didn't do as good as you wanted in every event, but you set an SEC record <laughs> and, you, and you won the heptathlon. I mean, what does that mean for you to be able to set that record and, and get that gold medal? Um, I it it means that I'm on pace for my ultimate goal. Uh, I've mentioned this. I have a board in my room that says the ultimate heptathlete, which says six thousand eight hundred sixteen points, and I am where I wanted to be at this time. Um, I of course I want to do that at the Olympics for like a, the show, but um, I'm definitely on track. Uh, I wish I would have taken advantage of the momentum that I had in this hep, but at the same time. Everything happens for a reason, and it just wasn't it wasn't the day. And I know I can depend on my training um, when I need it most, and I'm happy that this wasn't even like, overall it was, I had some great things happen, but uh, uh, overall, like, together, it wasn't my best head, you know? And so, I'm excited to see how much points I have, you know, left on the board. Uh, it's it makes me excited to go back and train, you know? <laughs> Cause like this triple, let me triple jump, wow. This uh, hurdles is about to go down. This shot put will never look like that again. And this 800, it's gonna be defeated. And my job is just gonna continue to get better, so yeah.